Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today we are going full force into Walmart balloons. And I mean it. I really mean it. My first bag of Walmart balloons for today's video I bought a while ago and I waited because I wanted more balloons in that specific color. My initial plan was to use only one color and a whole bunch of florals from Walmart, but I couldn't find any more of that beautiful dusty pink color anymore. So they were constantly sold out. I tried to check in with my local Walmart, sold out. I went to other Walmarts in my area, sold out. So I just said, you know what? Today I'm going to Walmart, buying a whole bunch of other balloons and creating something beautiful and colorful. That's exactly what I did. So today's gonna be something colorful and beautiful. I will try to link everything in the description under this video. And without any further ado, let's go. And these are four colors that I am working with today. Each bag includes 15 balloons and they're all 12 inch balloons. So I have a pretty purple, Sunday yellow, rose petal. I said dusty pink, but this is a rose petal. Close enough, right? And powdered blue. I have more balloons in my Walmart bags. Blue, purple, yellow, and this uh, rose petal color. Time to inflate my balloons. I am using my electric balloon pump, but I am taking two balloons and I am inflating them into different sizes. One is a little bit bigger, one is a little bit smaller. Next step is absolutely optional. You can press your balloons against the floor to give them more rounder shape and then tie them together. I am tying my balloons pretty close together to have these long necks. We would need long necks to construct our balloon garland into something like this. I won't be mixing all of my colors together. I am working with one color at a time. So I started with blue and um, I'll finish with blue. I'll come back and I'll show you what I will be doing next. Uh, so let's go. I will inflate all of my balloons into 12 inch pairs. I want to make some of the five inch balloons out of my 12 inch balloons. So here is how I will be doing that. I am taking a balloon and inflating just a little bit. About this big, like a five inch size balloon, tying a knot. Now, knot will be the center or middle of my balloon. I am squishing my balloon in the middle to have these two balloons like this and twisting a few times. Okay, grabbing the tail of my balloon and wrapping around this twisted part a few times. Can shape your balloons now. Okay, grab another one, inflate and do exactly the same thing. Taking these two uh, pairs of five inch balloons and connecting them and winding them together into a quad of five inch balloons like this. Now you can shape your balloons, play around with them to make them look nice and round and uh, these are the five inch that i will be using in today's construction i will make a few of these just to have some kind of variety of sizes of balloons so this is a great uh, trick if you can't find five inch balloons i am done with my blue color now we need to cluster and quad these balloons yes you heard me right i won't be just clustering these balloons i will be quadding them as well Quads are four balloons together, so two pairs interwined together. Clusters are more than two pairs of balloons together. So to cluster your balloons, you're grabbing two different sizes pair of balloons and interwining them together really well to make sure that everything holds nice and tight and your quad or your clusters are not untangling and they're going places grabbing another pair and adding into 
the squad that you just made and unwind everything together. And now you created smaller size cluster of balloons. So to make a bigger cluster, you're gonna grab a fourth pair of balloons and add into your smaller size cluster of balloons. And voila, you have a bigger size cluster. So just play around with sizing of your clusters. With my blue color, they are all clustered and quadded. And also right here, you see a bunch of five inch uh, quads that I made out of 11. I hope it's gonna be enough. Let's repeat exactly the same thing with other colors. I decided to save you some time and I won't be showing you how I would inflate every other balloon that I need for this video. So I will see you in a little bit. Oh, you guys, I am done inflating all of my balloons, all of my colors, and that took quite some time. As you can see, I inflated five inch balloons or made five inch balloons out of each color these balloons as you can see they are very hard to inflate into different sizes because uh, uh, darker spots will be on your balloons if you don't stretch them to the size that they need to be inflated and these little spots i really don't like it it's interesting because some of the balloons would have spots like these and some of the balloons would not have spots at all and another reason why i don't like walmart balloons is because of this you guys look how many balloons are defected or had holes blue balloons they were the worst look how many i lost i lost more than one pack of balloons time to create something out of these balloons i am using this uh, blue color first because i have the most balloons inflated in this color as i said these balloons are not the best quality i look around at all of my inflated balloons and i'm kind of happy that i inflated so many balloons because i see a lot of balloons are deflating on me i see what i want to do with all these colors let's see if uh, i can execute it i like to post my fails as well because it's very educational for me especially when i fail i learn a lot so hopefully my failure if i'll fail today will teach you something as well so i don't know let's start somewhere let's see what i can do and behind me i don't know if you can see i brought out my knot lamps i bought them on amazon you guys they are way overpriced on amazon i will try to find a link from walmart i heard a lot of people saying that at walmart you can get them for literally like 10 bucks or something like that so first check your walmart or maybe a dollar store maybe it will be even cheaper if they carry those knot lamps at dollar store so don't buy them at amazon for sure just a heads up anyways let's uh, take our first two clusters i am reaching in and finding the neck of my balloon so doing exactly the same to my second cluster i am stretching those necks and tying those necks together to create this mini looking balloon garland let's tie a few more clusters and then we'll go straight to our nut lamp here i am trying to cut out all of these deflated balloons if, oh, and I popped one more balloon. I feel like it's gonna be a fun, fun time working with Walmart balloons. I haven't done this in such a long time. You guys, you have no idea. Taking this little balloon garland and literally pressing this balloon garland on my knot lamp. Literally push it in to lock this knot lamp in your balloons you press your balloon garland and do you see this knot lamp was going through these two balloons right here so press that knot lamp in take these two balloons and crisscross them 
This way, you will lock your nut lamp and nut lamp won't slide out of your balloon garland. I will do this a couple more times throughout the whole nut lamp to make sure my balloon garland is not going anywhere. And as you can see, I am constructing this whole thing in sections, in little sections of balloons. I don't know why, I just feel like I wanna do this today, working with sections and working with section will give you more control and understanding where your balloons are going and how they will sit on your nut lamp. We made a literally a column. Now we need to uh, give this column more shape. So I am taking another cluster right here, grabbing that neck, finding the neck, somewhere in my balloon garland from the balloons and tying everything together. All right, already we're getting some shape and something, something out of this. Next, I want to take my pink and create a little balloon garland out of these clusters as well. You know what, here's what I wanna try instead of tying my balloon garland like this. I want to take this piece and tie it over here to create this bundle of balloons. Doing exactly the same thing, grabbing the neck of balloons and tying everything together. This technique will involve some of the finger strength, so don't be discouraged if something's not going to turn out like tying necks of balloons together because at first, I had no strength in my fingers and I was failing miserably. I gave up my first time I tried this technique. I gave up, I said no more, until I decided to try it one more time, one last time, and it worked out like, like butter. And I love this technique and I use it till this day. So don't give up, keep trying and you'll get there. Trust me, practice makes it perfect. I'm not going to stop saying this. Notice this thing, you guys. I am constructing everything, not even using my rubber bands. I am using only the necks of clusters of my balloons. That's exciting. Let's add a little bit of yellow. I am again tying clusters together. Here is where I want to place this yellow. I really don't like when my balloon garlands have this very smooth corners. I really don't like it. I feel like it slouches my balloon garland and it shortens my balloon garland. So I try to raise my corners up just a little bit to give more volume. Interesting so far, interesting. I love how you can add balloons more and more and something unexpected can turn out out of this. So I try to add more yellow to kind of balance everything evenly. I will try to add a little bit of this purple right now to bring everything together. And I need to think something right here on top of this balloon garland because uh, it's empty. looks a little too flat for me so I want to add some of the blue balloons. Idea just struck me. <laughs> Instead of using a second nut lamp I feel like I want to create something right here right on this corner of my fireplace and I feel like if I take this balloon structure and move it forward it will give me this uh, 3D kind of like um, visual and I feel like it's going to look good. Let's try this out. I'm using 20 pound fishing line and half a pound command hooks to attach this balloon garland to the trim or whatever, this part, smooth part of my fireplace. we need to build this balloon garland so this is way too flat we need to give some curve over here some fullness maybe at the bottom so just let's add 
all the rest of the colors that we have on this side and we'll see where we're gonna end up with one thing that i know for sure that i don't want to add pink right here because it's going to be way too much pink probably i will go for yellow or purple and then work myself down guys here's one thing that i am thinking about this section of the balloon installation that i cut off the blue from here and it doesn't look too good so i want to take some blue and probably round it somewhere over here maybe pointing it more upwards to elongate visually my balloon garland and i will go full force with other colors i will add more colors on this side and just uh, let my imagination do the thing. So let's go finish this up. One thing that I want to add is when you're making a balloon garland, you guys, it's very good to step back away for about like 10 minutes and not look at your setup. Come back in 10 minutes with fresh eyes, fresh outlook on your setup and you'll see so many things that, for example, you need to change or things that you like that you made but you didn't see it right away. So it's good to step away for 10, 15 minutes and just take a break from balloons because sometimes it can be overwhelming. So let's go add more balloons, let's tie more. I haven't still used not even one glue dot or not even one rubber band to construct this thing and it's looking good. I tied everything with the necks of my balloons. Let's go. We need to fill in spaces with lots and lots of five inch quads. I am using my rubber bands to attach these guys because there's no necks in here of balloons that I can tie them to my balloon garland. So I'm taking my rubber band, looping over my balloons and going straight to my balloon garland and filling in spaces. to add a little bit more fun into this balloon garland uh, we went that far why not to go a little bit further right so i am taking these uh, very bouncy flowers in two colors i will focus these closer to yellow and these guys closer to pink i will simply press my balloons between balloons and it should hold very well so let's go why not if anything else we can always remove these flowers and just stay with with, with the balloons why i love these flowers because they have wires in them i can insert my flowers and bend and tell my flowers where they need to go and where they need to look so that's why i am trying always to buy flowers with wired stems you guys and i am absolutely in love with what i see i really truly sincerely love what i've done here one of my favorite colorful setups that i've made so far i love all the flowers they fit with these uh, colors really great together it looks so springy and summery i am done with the winter outside so i brought some spring and summer inside of my house with all these beautiful colors do i like the quality of these balloons no. Will I use these balloons for clients? Never. 
I had the experience with Walmart balloons and clients. Never again will I use Walmart balloons for my personal parties and personal use. Yes, if I will be out out of my good quality balloons and I needed something quick, then yes, I would go for Walmart balloons, no problem. Don't be surprised if you would be using Walmart balloons and you'll see a whole bunch of messed up balloons glued together balloons, balloons with holes, nasty looking balloons, or if you would inflate balloons, don't be surprised when you'll see a whole bunch of deflated balloons. This is what I experienced throughout these two days and hey, result is beautiful. Overall, you guys, I used 474 balloons. So I will break down every color count in the description under this video. I will try to find links for these Walmart balloons, but then I will link good quality balloons in similar or same colors as these. If you would want to purchase something good quality in these colors, it will be there as well. Or I will leave some of the websites where you can browse through and find these beautiful colors as well, but better quality. One more thing, you guys, I did construct this whole thing by using only necks of balloons from clusters. I absolutely love this technique because you don't really have to use anything else to help you construct the balloon garland. The only thing I used rubber bands because five inch balloons out of 11 inch balloons lost their necks and I had to use something to attach my five inch balloons. Other than that, you guys absolutely love this technique. It's a lot faster and it looks great. This is it, you guys. This is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was inspiring. If it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. They always, always help. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them all and help you out to the best of my abilities. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and great ideas. And I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye.